morning. So, <coughs> we have discussed that uh, mechanical vibrations and their equation and equivalent electrical circuits. Now, we try to find out that uh, wave equations, acoustics wave equations. Okay. So, now in practical if you see when think about the loudspeaker, if the loudspeaker is play in this room in the studio, what will happen the sound will come from the loudspeaker to the person. So, that means the sound is travelling through the air and reaching to the person. Now, we have to know how the sound is propagated. If we do not know how the sound is propagated, then we cannot do that acoustics treatment or acoustics uh, b, 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 how the sound is propagated, how in how far distance it will be attenuated. All those property when you want to find out, we have to know how the sound is propagated. That means, in mathematics or if anything you know that uh, any, any, any physical phenomena you try to model in mathematically. So, that means, I have to derive the mathematical model for that wave equation. So, as a source when the mechanical vibration produce that vibration and that vibration has to be travel, you know that, that the acoustic wave does not travel, cannot travel without the medium. That means, that when a acoustic wave is travel, it is use the media to travel. Now, for that purpose, if I want to how that acoustic wave is travel, if we consider how it is in, in your 10 plus 2, you know how the acoustic waves travel. That means, some particle of the mo, uh, media will move forwards and create a denser region, then it relax, then create the, the, the next particle will be. So, like that, the condense and relaxation, condensation and relaxation, that way sound wave is propagated. See that the, this uh, this uh, picture of this computer. If you see this uh, acoustic wave picture of this computer, so this portion is denser, weaker, denser, weaker. So that way the acoustic wave is propagated. That's why acoustic wave is called transverse wave. Transverse wave or what? What kind of wave? Longitudinal wave or acoustic wave is long. So it travels through a condensation and relaxation. So who? How it travels? how it condensation is happened, how the relaxation is happens. So, we said that if I, if the medium, does, uh, you know also the one of the property that when the acoustic wave is travel through a uh, media, media does not change. That is that uh, uh, constant we put that if I consider the acoustic wave, forget about that intensity of the wave is such a large, we cannot explain that phenomena that we are not considering. Consider the acoustic wave with regional in, uh, intensity, when when the acoustic wave is travels, it does not change the media. That means, if it is travel through a solid, solid becomes solid, its property does not change. So, how that wave is travels? So, there will be a some particle which condense and due to the restoring force, particle will be restores and next particle will be that force will be transferred to the next particle. So, that way if that acoustic wave travel, then we have to derive that acoustic wave equation. So, we are considering some constraint and then derive the simple acoustic wave equation. So, we are not deriving the acoustic wave equation which can explain the explosion of a boom. That intensity acoustic wave equation we are not considering. We are considering when the acoustic wave travel through a media, the media does not change. So, when we derive the mathematical equation of the acoustic wave, we consider the fluid. because fluid exhibits some more constraint regarding that acoustic wave trans, uh, uh, transmission. So, we derive that equation for fluid and that equation still valid for wave uh, uh, air solid and everywhere. Okay. So, simply we derive that acoustic equation for fluids. So, now if you think as a student that okay, acoustic wave is travel, what is travelling? That pressure that if I produce a sound from the loudspeaker, the acoustic pressure which is produced by the diaphragm has to be transmitted to the listeners. That means, acoustic pressure is transmitted through the air using condensation and relaxation to the listeners. So, we have to derive that equation, how what should be the equation that pressure is transmitted from the loudspeaker to the listeners. Okay. Now, 
instead of air we consider let the medium is a liquid because liquid exhibit more some more constant over that if I consider the, the when we consider the medium property that medium property supports by the liquids and that acoustic wave which will be derived still it is valid for other medium also. So, now if I consider that okay, I have a liquid I produce a sound. Now, I said that okay, let us consider any, any point of that liquid what will be there? There will be a pressure which pressure? Total pressure capital P and there will be a equilibrium pressure that means, if I not apply the acoustic pressure external force which is acts as acoustic pressure then this liquid has an equilibrium pressure let us the equilibrium pressure is capital P 0. Okay. So, what should be the acoustic pressure will be the small p which is the difference between the equilibrium pressure minus a difference between the total pressure or instantaneous pressure minus equilibrium pressure. So, that is the acoustic pressure small p is nothing but a acoustic not only nothing but a acoustic pressure. So, acoustic pressure is nothing but a instantaneous pressure that means, pressure exhibit in this point minus the equilibrium pressure if the acoustic force is not applied what should be the pressure of at that point that is equilibrium pressure. Similarly, at that point the that if it is a low liquid that is a density. Now, if I put a pressure on that uh, any medium what will happen the density will be changed let us density will be changed then we consider let us at the same point the total means instantaneous density is rho this is the instantaneous density that means equilibrium density plus modified the density which is changed due to the acoustic pressure. So, density minus what will the minus equilibrium density is equal to the instantaneous density okay. instantaneous density minus equilibrium density uh, de or uh, density or you can say the, the density divided by the rho 0 will be the condensation which is called S. S is nothing but a condensation. So, density of that medium is rho minus equilibrium density divided by rho 0 is the rho 0 is the equilibrium density is the condensation property. Then velocity let us what is how the how, how the wave is propagated I the particle will move forward create condensation then it will be come to its rest position again next particle will move forward again come to its rest position. So, if the particle is move forward that means, there is a particle velocity which create that wave propagation. So, if the particle velocity is u I consider the particle velocity is u then if you see in this room if the acoustic wave is created there. So, particle velocity is free to move anywhere it is not that it will move this direction it can free to move suppose I create acoustic pressure in this point point source. So, what will happen particle can move upward can move downward can move forward can move backward all these three direction. So, if I say that I have a three direction in this room that means, x y and z that means, x y and z upward is x y z x y x let us this is x this is y and this is z direction. So, any particle can move in this coordinate in any direction. Okay. So, u has a component that particle velocity if the particle velocity u is nothing but a displacement of that particle with respect to time. So, particle can move any position and if the particle is displaced then the velocity is the displacement divided by the time. So, if the particle is displacement is psi and d psi by d t, but psi displacement can occur in any direction x y z. So, I can say psi is a vector which is nothing but a x with the unit vector in x direction, y with the unit vector in y direction, z with the unit vector in z direction. So, if this point is nothing but a x y z. So, particle can move to this point 
which is x1, y1, z1. So, in case of velocity, displacement with respect to time. So, displacement with respect to time and displacement is psi, which consists of three direction. Okay. Next is temperature. Think about in practical scenario, is the when the wave is transmitted, is the temperature is change? If it is support linear wave equation, we said this transmission is an adiabatic condition. So, that, that means, if acoustic wave pass through a media, temperature of the media does not change. So, that means, the temperature we have constant that the temperature does not change. So, that means, process is adiabatic. So, T is the temperature which is in Kelvin scale. Okay. Now, what is the velocity of the sound? If you see, the velocity of the sound is nothing but a root over of bulk modulus divided by density. Bulk modulus divided by the density of that medium. So, the velocity of the sound is root over of bulk modulus divided by the density. So, if you see the velocity of sound in air and velocity of the sound is in, in solid and velocity of the sound in water or liquids will be different because the bulk modulus and density of the medium will be different. Okay. So, in that case the velocity of the uh, air, so this, this is an one example is given in case of air bulk modulus value is given, density is given. So, the speed of the sound I can derive. Similarly, in case of water bulk modulus is given, then there is a density is given, then I can derive the velocity of the sound. Still bulk modulus is given, then the density is given, we can derive the velocity of the sound. So, if we see you know that the solid has the highest velocity, then the liquid, then the air. Okay. Now, we want to derive that equation, those are the preliminary part of the deriving the equation. So, we will use those nomenclature when we derive that equation. Now, if I want to derive the equation, what are the consideration we said when sound is propagated in a medium, medium does not change and equilibrium density of the medium in all point is same. So, that means, the medium is homogeneous, isotropic and idle fluid. Idle fluid means there is no viscous loss, there is no friction loss, that part we consider there is no loss when the acoustics. In practical it is not, but simply we derive, we put those constant to derive that equation, then we employ one after another constant in see how the equation is modified. So, for a linear wave equation, we consider the medium is homogeneous, the process of sound transmission is adiabatic, there is no heat loss and the fluid is idle that means, there is no friction, no viscosity, those part is not there. So, the process is isotherm. Okay. Then we employ this three simple principle, one is called continuity of the mass or conservation of mass, then another is called equation of states and another is called force equation. So, those three equations will be employed during the derived derivation of that pressure wave equation. Okay. So, our ultimate goal is to find out the pressure wave equation, how the pressure wave is travel in the medium that mathematical equation of that pressure wave. Okay. Now, we go for one by another. So, let us equation of state, what is the equation of state? What we know? We know pressure, total pressure is nothing but a, what is total pressure? Density into R into T k. What is R? R is called gas constant. Density into gas constant into T k. T k is the temperature in Kelvin. Okay. So, pressure is nothing but a density into gas constant or specific gas constant into T k. Now, if this is an isotherm condition, then we know total pressure divided by the equilibrium pressure is equal to rho by rho 0. Okay. So, in case of perfect gas condition or isotherm condition, perfect isotherm condition, it is nothing but a root to the power 
gamma this is the i in case of ideal it is rho by rho 0 but in case of isotherm condition so this gamma is nothing but a specific heat constant gamma is called specific heat constant so if i if this is my equation and gamma is specific heat constant can i express this term in term of taylor series can i express this in term of taylor series now if i want to express this in term of expand this term in taylor series then what i will get i get p minus p is equal to total p0 plus just express this this is p is equal to p0 into rho by rho 0 to the power gamma these things i express in taylor taylor series so this is 1 plus first order term into difference of the uh, 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 difference of the dense uh, uh, density then second order term that will come so rho p0 plus p0 into what will come p0 plus 1 plus so it will be p0 plus del rho by del sorry del p by del p by del rho into rho minus rho 0 plus second order term del p by del rho square into half of this into rho minus rho 0 that way it will got up to the all, all term will come square. So, this is the first order, second order, then third order, fourth order, fifth order term will come. Okay. Now, if I say that whole things is linear wave equation, then I consider only to the first order term. I can neglect that higher order term, because I am explaining the linear wave equation. So, in that case, total pressure is nothing but a P0 plus del P divided by del rho into rho minus rho 0. rho minus rho 0. Now, if I consider that p minus p 0 is equal to I can write b into rho minus rho 0 divided by rho 0. So, what is rho uh, b? b is nothing but a del p by del rho into rho 0 del p by del rho into rho 0, because I am co considering b into rho minus rho minus, so I divide it with the rho 0, so it will be multiply by the rho 0. Okay. So, d is b is called bulk modulus, this is called bulk modulus and what is rho minus rho 0 divided by rho 0 is nothing but a b into condensation, s b into s condensation. So, p minus p 0, what is p minus p 0? Total pressure minus equilibrium pressure is nothing but acoustic pressure which is small p, small p is equal to b into s. Okay. Small p is equal to b into s bulk modulus into condensation. So, this is the one equation we have derived from the equation of state that acoustic pressure is nothing but a equal to bulk modulus multiply by the condensation. Okay. Now, we go for the continuity equation. What is continuity equation? What I said that acoustic wave is propagated through a condensation and relaxation, condensation and relaxation. So, in that case condensation and relaxation. So, let us this is a pace of acoustic wave. I consider a volume in this space like this. Let's, this is the volume in the acoustic wave propagation space. I consider a small volume, okay, which has dx, dy, and dz. Three axes: dx, dy, and dz. I consider a small volume. So, if it is condensed, let's say it is condensed. What will happen? What do you mean by condensed? Some particle will enter in the volume some particle will enter in the volume. How it is enter in the volume? Because of the 
particle velocity? If the wave is propagated in this direction, let us wave is propagated in x direction, x direction, what will happen? Some particle will enter into the volume and who, who caused them to enter in the volume? Velocity, particle velocity. So, if this is u x, particle velocity in x direction is u x. So, what is the what is the particle density? Density is rho. So, how many particle will enter in the vol volume? It depends on the density. So, density multiplied by the u x is the number of particle which enter in the volume. Let us I have a volume, some particle enter in the volume. What will happen? The mass of the volume will be increased, but it does not support the continuity of the mass. So, that means, if some particle enter into the volume, some particle should leave out of the volume. So, that means, there is a particle velocity this direction also, this, this surface also. So, in that surface, if the particle velocity is rho u x and the velocity is change due to the d x, that means, rho into u x plus new velocity is del u x by d x into d x. This way we write the change of velocity due to the this d x position is nothing but a del u x d x into d x. Change of velocity within a unit, unit distance, total distance is d x. So, change of velocity with a unit distance is del u x by d x into total distance is d x. So, we, we, we always write it is del u x by del x into d x, because d x is the distance and change of velocity due to the delta, delta change of space, it is del u x by del x into d x. Okay. Multiply by the rho. So, that much of particle will live through the volume. Okay. So, net particle enter in this volume, entered amount minus exit amount. So, net flux of mass into the this fixed volume is nothing but a rho into u x minus rho into u plus del u x by del x into d x. So, if I do that things, so this will be del u x will be ca cancelled. So, it is nothing but a minus del u x by del x into d x. Okay. Now, what is the mass? total mass increase of the volume, this is the density change due to the particle velocity, sorry that will be a del, uh, del will be there, rho will be there, rho term will be there, okay. rho into del u x by del x into d x. So, that multiply by the total volume is the total mass change. So, I multiply the total mass increase or intake will be multiplied by the, what is it, x direction and if the x direction is d x, what is the surface area of this? It is not single pointed. So, this is a cross sectional area. So, that within the whole cross section area mass will be injected. So, this is I take one point. So, whole cross section area will mass will be injected into area cross section area of that things. So, this into the cross section area what is del y del z the cross section of this thing is del y multiply by the del z. So, that is the total increase of the mass. Okay. So, this amount of mass will be increases. Now, in this case it is nothing but a rho del u x y del x into d x d y d z. So, what is d x d y d z? This is nothing but a volume, because volume is nothing but a d x d y so, it is nothing but a minus rho del u x by del x into del v or I can write instead of 
V, I can write del V because I take del x, del y, del z. So, write del V. So, it is del V. Okay. So, that much of mass it is negative minus will be increase in this volume. The total mass increase in this volume. Similarly, the wave will come from that this direction, wave will come from this direction, then it will go from this direction. Similarly, wave will come from the z direction also. So, in the all six plane, the direction wave will come. So, in that case, generalized equation I can write the total increase of the mass is nothing but a del del u x sorry rho into del u x by del x plus del u y by del y plus del u z by del z into del v. This is the total. Now, what is the mass change? If the mass is change, then what will be change? Volume, volume is v, del v. So, del v is the volume. So, mass change is nothing but a. So, I can write, okay. So, the, the, this I can write. What is del u x by del x, del u y by del y, del u y del, del u z by del z. What is the meaning of this? This is nothing but the divergence. So, it is nothing but a, it is nothing but a, I can write divergent of u is nothing but a del u x by del x plus del u y by del y plus del u z by del z. So, I can write this equation is nothing but a minus rho divergent of u into d v. So, I can or I can write minus divergent of rho into u, u is a vector now, three dimensional vector u x, u y, u z into del v is the total mass increase in that volume. Okay. So, rate at which mass is increase. Now, if this amount of mass is increasing here, that is nothing but a the rate of increase of mass with respect to time, rate, rate of increase of density. So, what will happen? If some mass is in, enter here, the density of this volume will be changed with respect to time. So, let us you initially it is 0. Now, once it started the mass flowing into that side, some mass will be come out that I consider. So, net is going in minus going out is the net amount of mass increase in that volume. In that case, that increase the density of the volume with respect to time. So, I can write del rho by del t is the density change with respect to time into del v is the change of mass of that same volume. So, this is nothing but a equal to minus del of rho u into del v dv. So, dv dv is cancelled. So, I can write del rho by del t plus divergent of rho into u is equal to 0. Okay. In that case, what will happen? So, this is called linear continuity equation. I cannot say that if the if if if, if, if you think about I take a ball, liquid ball, if you squeezed it, what will happen? The density of that ball will be the volume is decreases, mass may be increases, mass has to be increases. Or if you see I take a ball and I inject I, I uh, suppose the, the, the I, I have a, a fixed volume in here air and I put some more air in that volume with the fixed volume, what will happen? Air density will be changed with respect to the flow of the air inside that volume means in which rate I injected the volume in that, that rate will change the density of the volume. See, so, I can say the amount of mass flux which is increased in this thing will be the rate of change of density if the volume is remain constant because I have volume I have same. I have not changed the volume. So, if the del V I consider remain constant, that means rate of change of particle, deposited particle, 
or amount of deposited particle will increase the density. So, in that case the rate of change of density should be equal to the net mass flux enter into the volume. So, it is nothing but a this equation. So, if this is the equation, this equation is called linear continuity equation, conservation of mass. If the density, if the volume remain change, if the uh, if volume remain change, if you more particle is entered, density will be changed. Similarly, if I change the volume, the density will be changed. So, in that case, this is a linear continuity equation. Now, if I say that okay, rho is total density, rho is the total density. So, rho is nothing but a total density the instant rho or instantaneous density, inst instantaneous density. So, I know one is called condensation. How we say that if I apply acoustic force, some particle will be condensed in one point and then it will be relaxed, then condensed, then relax. So, this condensation S is nothing but a total density minus equilibrium density divided by the equilibrium density. Okay. Now, if I change this thing, this is nothing but a, so I can say rho is equal to 1 plus S into rho 0. Rho 0 S, rho is nothing but a 1 plus S into rho 0. So, rho 0 S plus rho 0 is equal to rho. So, rho is nothing but a 1 plus S into rho 0. So, if this, now if I put this thing in this equation, if I take the derivative, so del rho by del t, rho 0 is constant. So, differentiation will be 0. So, del s by del t into rho 0. So, now I put this del s in here. So, what will happen in this case that rho this equation, this equation become del s del of s by del t rho 0 will be multiplied instead of del rho by del t plus what will be there? Rho, rho is nothing but a 1 plus s rho 0. So, I write divergent of 1 plus s rho 0 into u is equal to 0, equal to 0. So, now if I say if the s is very very small and rho 0 I said rho 0 is constant. So, rho 0 constant with respect to time that means rho 0 is not a function of time. So, I say rho 0 is a weaker with respect to function of time and s is very very s is very very small. If s is very very small I can ignore s here. So, in that case it is nothing but a rho 0 u is equal to 0. So, the equation is del rho by rho 0 into del s by del t plus divergent of rho 0 u is equal to 0. So, this is the continuity equation or I can use this equation. So, sometime I use this equation, sometime I use this equation later on. Okay. So, this is called continuity equation. Okay. Next equation is the mass equation or uh, sorry force equation. This is the continuity equation of mass equation. Next is the force equation. So, force equation I will discuss in the next class. Okay.